the chip mat has been postponed how to maintain continuity you tell me it's, it's a million dollar question we are living in extremely uncertain terms those of you who are finishing your class 12 now you've had it real tough right my, my heart goes out to you as it is a stressful time uh, writing exams and waiting for results is a painful process that uncertainty is killing not knowing when the exam will happen or whether if at all the exam will happen that's killing and so Find other ways of uh, keeping yourself occupied. Don't have a super intense preparation schedule. You think that that's a recipe for burnout. Make sure that you have some balance. You can do a sprint for 45 days. You can't do a sprint for six months without knowing when it will end. So make sure that you keep some reserves with you if it gets deferred or continues to get deferred. Uh, bring in more variety in your preparation. In your round one, you might have said, look, I don't have enough time. I'll assume I know my quant. I'll prepare for verbal focus on that. Do some vocab building, do some grammar building in case those kind of questions come and then do some reading comprehension and worry about uh, the data interpretation part, a logical puzzle part in the exam. If you've done that because you're scrambling, now you have time. Then you say, okay, that's the part I didn't focus at all. I'm going to spend on that. That way you're, you're combating fatigue. Doing the same thing over and over again is very tiring. But catching a break and doing something else and, and coming back to this thing, that could be something that gives you a little bit of a relief boredom wise. Otherwise, keep some balance. Don't plan to prepare for 12 hours, 14 hours a day, but you simply cannot have days where you're drifting as if you were on holidays. Where you say, look, I wake up at nine, I just do something, I, I browse, I play, I speak to my friends, and then maybe I throw in an hour of um, IP mat preparation. That doesn't work. Uh, that simply does not work. You must have some discipline. It could be incredibly challenging now. I see that. I'm not saying it's easy because the times are tough, but you must have some discipline. You say, look, this, this is the time I'm going to focus on studying. This is the time where I'm switching off. This is the time where I'm going to chat with a couple of people. But you have to prepare for six, seven hours for all your exams put together any which way. That has to be part of your daily plan. This is your most crucial year. Everybody, I know this is a rolling thing. Every year somebody says next year is crucial, but take it from me. The year when you finish your class 12 is the most crucial year. That time you have to summon up all your reserves and say, okay, I'm going to hang in there for if it takes three more months, so be it. I'm going to hang in there. So tell yourself that, find that balance, but do, do, don't get carried away because if you're super intense, assuming it's going to happen and you finish everything off and it gets deferred by another one month, you face a serious burnout risk and you can completely switch off. That can't happen. Okay? Best wishes for your exam.